Judge Nolan Dawkins uh, has been on the bench there for nearly three decades. Today, he was surprised by this crowd of well-wishers who showed up as he stepped outside the courthouse today. Then, sheriff's deputies led a 60-car parade down Pitt Street for the judge. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey sat down with the judge to get his reflections on his view of justice and his role in history. Nolan Dawkins is the kind of judge who is not above fist bumping the deputies. A lifelong Alexandria resident who still lives in his childhood home. Dawkins doesn't let the black robe and power of judgment separate him. He views the people in his courtroom as members of his community. He might even know them. And I think that we have to kind of see through sometimes the law and make our decision based on who the person is. But growing up in a segregated Alexandria, not everyone looked at him that way. Burned into his memory the time a woman called the police when she saw Dawkins and a friend playing behind an Old Town grocery. Police came, they carried a fingerprint kit. So at eight years old, I was fingerprinted. And I wondered all my life, I said, I wonder, has that fingerprint, have those fingerprints followed me? But Dawkins broke barriers, becoming one of the first African-American students to integrate the former George Washington High School. In order to transfer to the all-white school, we had to get an application and, I guess, essentially prove that we were capable of performing in the school system. Perform he did. Dawkins went to college on an ROTC scholarship, then served as an officer in Vietnam, and on his return, set his sights on law school. In 1994, he became Alexandria's first African-American judge, starting in Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court. That is the one court where you can make a difference. He says it's not uncommon now for people to come up to him in the grocery and say thanks. Just to see the number of people who come up to me that I don't remember who will come up to me and say and, and thank me for kind of the role that I played in kind of getting their lives straight. For the last 13 years, Dawkins has been in circuit court. In civil cases, he insists people try to resolve their differences without going to trial. His guiding principle as a judge, simple. I've been fair. I don't come to court as a judge. I come to, ju I come to court and I, I see people. <laughs> Countless people grateful for that, now honoring Dawkins as one of this city's finest residents, a model for what fairness can mean. In Alexandria, I'm Julie Carey. News 4.